Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Security Beast. So today we are going to take a look at uh, the Stack Tree Challenge, the third challenge of this series. Okay, so let's take a quickly look at the Stack Tree source code. So here, what you can see is like the there is a win function defined which says code flow change successfully. That means uh, the intention of this function is like uh, when we capture the swag, that means we have to call this function. Okay, in the main we can see the same character buffer of 64 bit and frame pointer value set to the zero. And then it is calling gets and it is saying that if frame pointer print calling function uh, and jump to the value uh, that is dynamic now here, the value of the frame pointer in short, jump to the value of frame pointer and call frame pointer. Okay. So, uh, to exploit this simply, we need to keep the, set the value of the win function to the value of frame pointer, where the frame pointer is 0. Okay, let's see in action how it, uh, how it looks like in the real world. Uh, so it's not an explanation, it's in challenges. So, go to challenges and gdb dot slash stack 3. Okay, and so this as main and break the compare value what it compare let's see okay now run give 64a i'm just presuming that this should be more than 64 and we can see the value of frame pointer so here you can see the value of frame pointer is set to this uh, below the stack pointer that is lr or uh, listening register or uh, no i don't know let's just call it lr okay so after the whole buffer overflow, the value has been passed to the LR. So if we keep the value of here, if we keep the value of function, uh, if we keep the value of win function to the frame pointer, oh, they are, they are too much. But you can see the win here somewhere. Let me see if grip work. Okay. So if we if we set the value of min function to there, that means yeah this value uh, to the lr that means we can change the code flow and we can call this min function. Okay, so we have this value now. So uh, let's try to set and see what happened. So let's call a quick Python and call our friend print and create a character uh, create a buffer of 64 and plus we have to give this address so how can you give it it should be in a little in uh, the indian it should be little so i like to use like we can give like this also 7c then 04 then 0 1 then 0 0 I think this should work not sure though let's give it back 3 ok something is incomplete ok no let's try 1 0 no ok so we have to give it in a traditional way in uh, Python like what what we used to give. Okay, yeah. So x slash seven c zero four zero one, and when we enter this, it should uh, give us the so flag. And here we can see the code flow is successfully changed. So we filled a buffer of sixty four bit then the address uh, then the next address of win function we pass to the frame pointer and the frame pointer is uh, get called because the frame pointer value was the set to the zero and the next input after the buffer is going to the uh, going to be the value of frame pointer hence this value of win function called and we managed to solve this function successfully I hope you enjoy this video. If you have any query, do let me know in the comment section. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.